Summer is upon us, and students all over the Archdiocese are celebrating their last day of school. Here on the southwest side, they're celebrating for another reason, though. Longtime principal of St. John Fisher School, Sister Jean McGrath, is retiring. Students, staff, parents, and even neighbors surrounded the school as Sister Jean is taken for a celebratory parade lap. A tremendous outpouring of love that Sister Jean will remember for the rest of her life. A wonderful tribute how lucky our school has been to have this fine, wonderful person lead our school for 31 years. It was a great event today. You know, I never thought it'd be this crowded, getting all those kids here early in the morning. That was really unique to see. She means the world to a lot of people. You know, she's been a mother for people that needed a mother. She's been an aunt. She's been a friend. She's been a leader, a principal. Um, so... People that know her, people that are from you know like the community, they, they really um, look to her for all, all, all answers and how to, how to get through a lot of things. So she's been just a real strength and a real uh, cornerstone of this neighborhood and of this school, obviously, forever. 30 years is a long time to be in one place. What kept Sister Jean going for all those years? The spirit of this community, the, the trust that people put in you. You know, they're, they're sending their most precious thing to not only to be educated, but you're nurtured, and so I think the knowledge that together with parents we can make a difference in these children's lives. We can provide a faith development and a sense of prayer and reliance on God's grace. What, you know, how, many, how many other ministries impact that many people on a daily basis? So that's, I believe, so strong in Catholic education. This has been the most bittersweet experience of my life. Absolutely. I've been a religious sister for numbers of years and have loved being here. But the, just to watch the faces, of the, the faces of those children is an amazing thing, amazing. I feel so richly blessed that I, in some way, have been a part of their lives and they're part of mine. The St. John Fisher family gathered together for their end of the school year mass, with their guest of honor seated with her family in the front row. So now that she's retiring, what's next for Sister Jean? I would like to continue doing work in my religious community um, with the Sisters of St. Joseph. I would like to do some volunteer work. Um, I'd like to continue to be a part of the community here in some way, whether it's tutoring or, um, you know, you just can't cut everything off at once. So I will stay involved somehow. I don't knit, I don't crochet, I don't play bridge, so I better find something to do when I grow up. <laughs> Students from several grades took one last opportunity to show Sister Jean just how much she means to them. At the end of Mass, Sister Jean addressed her students one last time. Please remember to be good, to stay good, to remember to pray, just like we've prayed so often, to remember to be kind, because that's the best gift we can give our world. Because you've done all of that for me, I am forever grateful. How lucky can one gal get? Blessings. I'm Brian Brock, reporting from St. John Fisher School in Beverly.